I am excited to announce that the U.S. government has committed $3.3 million to a new era of the Kennedy and Boya partnerships. <laughs> Supporting 60 young and promising Kenyans to study at top U.S. universities for one semester. That is 60 students to commemorate the 60 years of partnership that have transpired between the United States and Kenya since the original Kennedy airlift. The Kennedy and Boya partnerships will also strengthen connection between American and Kenyan universities and include two-way exchanges of our faculty and researchers working in STEM fields. As you can hear, the U.S. government is incredibly proud of all of these past, present, and future exchanges and partnerships between Kenya and U.S. institutions of higher education. The United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, continues this legacy of partnership. USAID has long driven innovative exchanges for students and faculty at thousands of universities and colleges around the world. In Kenya, we continue to see incredible partnership opportunities that harness the power of our shared diversity and the unique strengths of both Kenyan and American cultures. For example, since 2015, USAID has partnered with Kenyatta University to train well over 5,400 young people through the Young African Leaders, Leaders Initiative, also known as YALI. I am also excited to announce today that with one million from the U.S. government's Digital Transformation for Africa initiative, two new special groups for YALI will be launched in partnership with Dedan Kamati University of Technology in Kenya and Semiconductor Technologies Limited, a cutting edge <laughs> a cutting edge Kenyan semiconductor manufacturer. This partnership will offer training and transformation grants for young people working in emerging technologies and prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow. By emphasizing STEM education, we're not just preparing students for today's jobs, we're equipping them to be the innovators and problem solvers who will drive our economies and countries forward in the decades ahead. This future is one that will present both challenges and opportunities, and our focus on STEM will ensure students can help tackle complex problems like climate change, while also capitalizing on emerging technologies like AI. Likewise, with equity in mind, USAID is focused on partnerships that reach learners from circumstances and backgrounds who might otherwise be excluded from higher education opportunities. We know that the Nobel Prize winners of the future may come from anywhere, and that we are stronger through the diversity of our varied voices. This is why our partnership with Kenyan higher education institutions are so crucial. While US universities and companies bring a wealth of experience and expertise, we know that Kenya has an incredible amount to offer. The innovative spirit of Kenya's youth combined with their insights into growing STEM-focused markets, make them invaluable partners. It's a true win-win for both nations. To further strengthen this collaboration and growth, I am pleased to announce and sign today a framework for cooperation that promises to advance new and innovative partnerships between U.S. and Kenya universities and U.S. private sector companies, including Microsoft, MasterCard, and of, and of course, Micron Technologies. Kenya and the US are bound by a shared culture of innovation. This is why our Silicon Savannah is globally recognized as a hotbed of innovative breakthroughs and a radical digital solution in our sectors. M-Pesa, for example, the revolutionary mobile money technology heralded Kenya's entry into fintech and the financial technology space. We therefore have a common foundation to empower our youthful population with skills in STEM, 
with particular emphasis on developing a robust capacity to engage with the global digital technology sector on a much and such advanced and emerging technologies as artificial intelligence, robotics, and data science. Let me say this. Tom Boyer, who was the architect of the airlift that gave thousands of Kenyans an opportunity to study in premier universities in this country. Today, in his honor, we have a public university in his name, Tom Boyer University in Homer Bay County. And I have had the privilege to travel with the governor of Homer Bay. She's in our midst. She must be a very proud lady. <laughs> By following in the footsteps of the historic airlift, we shall empower a new generation of disruptive thinkers, ambitious visionaries, and innovative problem solvers, and thus divine a brighter knowledge-driven future where progress transcends borders, transforms lives, and delivers prosperity. This partnership is one of the most successful achievements in the history of our relations. It begins with the ambitious people-to-people -people project, which we have come to know simply as the Mboya Airlift or the Kennedy Airlift, a visionary scholarship program initiated by two iconic leaders, T.J. Mboya, a Kenyan freedom fighter and architect of our post-independence development agenda, and J.F. Kennedy, a global symbol of American soft power as a force for universal good, and of course, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Notable figures such as Harry Belafonte, Jackie Robinson, and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. supported this initiative. Through it, hundreds of young men and women were able to pursue higher education in universities in the US and Canada between 1959 and 1963. Airlift alumni have made substantial contributions to Kenya's development, leveraging their education, skills, and experience to provide leadership across various sectors and supporting the implementation of policies which promote job creation, economic empowerment, and growth in our continent. Beyond their personal achievements, these alumni were exemplary public servants who made a strong civil service, which remains a powerful engine of progress and anchor of our stability as a nation. They have stood as enduring models for generations of Kenyans in the pursuit of a more prosperous, resilient, and equitable Kenya. Among them, are Kenya's iconic intellectual, veteran conservationists, and champion of social justice. One of them, Professor Wangari Madai, who won the Nobel Prize for Peace in 2004. It also includes the world-renowned and now American citizen neurosurgeon, James Nabwangu, and of course, Barack Obama Sr. 